am I doing? And this week, we're finally doing the Solovea review. Yes, people have been asking, people have been wondering. Uh, it's one of my most popular videos, and I'm very proud of that. But yes, people have been asking and wondering when that review is coming. Well, today is the day. I have uh, had these boots now for almost five months, and um, I gotta say, I absolutely love them. And by the way, it's Christmas Eve, so uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, and uh, Merry Christmas Eve, I guess, if you're partying or enjoying whatever special traditions you do. I hope I'm uh, part of it till, uh, on Christmas Eve and you get my message. If not, uh, Merry Christmas Eve whenever you see this in the future. Uh, I'm going to take this off. But yes, um, it's time to review the Soul of Air uh, 8i Derby boots that I bought. Um, and I gotta say, these things are amazing. Uh, oh, but before I get into that, I really want to give a quick shout out to uh, a, a group of people who have been talking to me on the Solovair video, which they don't comment, I don't think, on any of the other videos. But uh, it's been nice to talk to them. They've, they, they've also got boots and they love their boots. And uh, some of them don't have Solovairs, but we're curious about them. So. You know, we share a passion for nice boots, and I uh, had great conversation with them. So I'd like to say a uh, quick shout-out to Martin Smith, to Branheim, to Mr. Joshij, and uh, Marco, who I've been talking to most recently about boots. Um, you know, I appreciate the comments from you guys uh, and, and your questions and everything else. And uh, it's been great talking to you guys, so thank you. Um, so, yes, uh, in about a week, I'll have had these boots, I think, for five months. So this is going to be a five-month review of the Solivare Derby 8i boot. And I got to say, I expected these to be really good boots. I've been reading online about them for years, like I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, you know, I've been looking into them for a long time, and I've heard nothing but good things from people that have mentioned them and said that you should get them instead of docks. And, uh, you know, it was finally time for me to get another pair of shoes. And I actually want to get another pair so I can keep rotating them. At least one more pair, maybe two. But, um, you know, it was time for me to get another boot. And uh, I really like the way boots support my feet and everything when I walk. I just like the way they feel. They're comfortable, especially leather. Um, so, you know, I was leaning this way for a long time and I finally pulled the trigger. And uh, the last video... You know, I was completely blown away, you know, dealing with them, their measurements. It ended up fitting my feet perfectly. A little bit more perfect than I'm used to. Uh, but now that I've had some time with them, yes, they are perfect. They don't, my feet don't slide around. Um, the leather broke in nicely to my feet. My feet still don't slide around. Everything is beautiful. So their measurements are absolutely the way to order the boots. Um, and... Um, they know what they're saying. So if you follow their directions exactly the way they say, you're going to get a perfectly fitting boot. And if you're worried about it being tight, then go a half size up. A half size won't make a huge difference. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I was very nervous about it. And even when I got them, they, they were snug. They felt snug, but they're the way they're supposed to fit. And, the, you know, everything about that was perfect. And then, of course, the whole process of the delivery. I, I didn't even pay for the expedited delivery. I just paid for the regular, or I got the free one or whatever it was. I don't even remember now. And it came in less than 48 hours from England to my table. So that was insane. Um, and I loved them when I first tried them on in the first impression video, as you guys saw. Uh, and, of course, I'll add a link at the end. If you guys have not seen that video, you can go watch it. Uh, but, yeah. Um... I, now I've had them for five months. What do I think? I think these boots are fantastic. Uh, they're the most amazing thing I've ever put on my feet in my entire life. They're built extremely well. Um, they're extremely comfortable. Day one, they were comfortable, even though they weren't broken into my feet. They were comfortable. I wasn't too used to the shank and all that at first in the bottom of the, of the boot. Uh, but after a couple days of wearing them, it was all right. Um... The, the leather didn't make my feet sore. I didn't get any blisters. I didn't get any sore spots. Uh, the loopholes here, they didn't leave any sore spots on the top of my foot uh, while they were breaking in. Everything was comfortable from day one. What changed over time is that uh, the leather became much softer. Like you can see here, you know, it's very soft now. I don't know if I checked it in the first video, but they were much harder and, and they didn't squeeze like this. They squeeze more like the toe here where it's still very hard. 
Uh, but here, now it's very soft, very pliable, um, and it's very comfortable. It's broken into the exact shape of my foot. And um, when your feet fit something perfectly, they don't move around. I've got a lot of pairs of shoes that are too big for me uh, that I now know. And uh, my feet tend to slide forward when I walk, and it actually busts up my toes. So I've learned a lot from ordering these boots about what fits properly. I know that running shoes, they tend to go about a uh, size or a size and a half larger, but mine are still too large even at that. Um, so these are a perfect fit, and I've learned a lot about the way things should fit from these. But uh, as you can see, the leather, very comfortable and soft. Um, all along the top here, it's still like brand new, you know, and I've been putting these on, fighting with them multiple times a week. I wear these every other day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I wear them to work and I usually wear them for about 10 hours a day. Um, and uh, yeah, the, you know, the top of the boot looks brand new. The tongue, as you can see, yeah, it's got some lace marks, but it's in good shape still. Um, the only thing that's worn on these are the laces. The laces are the roughest thing that are on the boots right now. If you look at the laces, they're starting to get a little frayed. Um, you know, you can see the gray or white poking through from the middle there. Um, the ends of the laces, the plastic thing, it's still hanging out well, but it's it's starting to get rough. See that? Well, you probably can't, but uh, you know, it's starting to get a little rough, and I can tell that, you know, it'll peel probably within a month or two. So the laces are getting rough, but again, you know, how long the laces are so the laces supposed to last? I really don't know. I don't have high expectations for laces. So, uh, you know, if that's the only thing that's wrong with the boot after five months of wearing it three times a week, and I mean 10 hours a day, so like 30 hours minimum per week, sometimes I would wear them on the weekend for a walk with Anderson. So that would be another five and a half kilometers, you know, only a couple hours, but a lot of walking. And, uh, you know, if that's the only thing that's worn on them, that's pretty impressive. Uh, like I said, you know, the leather, it's just softer. It's softer where it needs to be from flexing. Um, it's a little bit more firm here, but it's also reinforced there. And yeah, you know, I guess from driving, you can see the boots taking a bit of a weird shape from, from, from the way uh, your feet sit and stuff like that when you drive. But that, that's normal. That's what happens when things break in. Um, I took some pictures here. Uh, you can see that the sole, the sole looks really good. Uh, there's minimal wear even you know the only wear that I usually get is along the sides and on the back and in these shoes It's absolutely minimal with the amount of time they've seen and like I said I also take them on dog walks so that, that that's pretty crazy usually by now a pair of running shoes would be nearly destroyed um, So the soles look great um, The inside even the logo inside like look at that I just wanted to show you guys even the logo that they put where my feet go where my feet constantly are rubbing and sweating and doing what they do in there. Uh, even the logo is still perfectly intact. That's impressive. Usually that doesn't happen either. Um, but yeah, you can see these boots look great. Uh, the wear is absolutely minimal. Uh, I love the fact that I will be able to resole them at a local cobbler or if I want, I can send it right to Solivare and they'll do it for me. And that the soles are only like $20 each or something like that. That's extremely cheap. And that means these boots will last a lifetime. And if I get two or three pairs, then they will wear minimally over the course of a lifetime, too. Um, and you can see, I've been rotating these with my Doc Martens. You can see from the photos that I showed, they're not wearing out at all. So <laughs> they will last a long time at this rate, especially if I get another pair or two. So uh, the wear and tear on these things with normal use, as you can see, I hadn't even cleaned them for the video. I just showed you them the way they were on my feet last. Um... I'm not ashamed of that because it shows the quality of the boot. It's holding up. I do clean them uh, at least once a week. I just didn't this week for the video because uh, I wanted to show you, you know, how they're holding up. Uh, but usually I clean them once a week, just a quick dusting and make sure everything's clean, especially if the salt or something on them. I wear them to work even in the with the snow. I don't wear them if it's extremely wet or, uh, you know, going to be walking in inches of snow. I don't want to ruin them. But if it's a little bit wet, I'll wear them. I'm not really worried about what gets on the soles from the shops that I walk through. And they're holding up. You know, some people say the soles could rip from the cold or whatever, but, you know, they're boots. you got to wear them. That's what they're made for. Um, and I, I think so far they're holding up great. But, yeah, as you can see, both boots are in extremely great shape. 
There's no wear and tear. Things aren't starting to fray or fall apart anywhere on the boot at all. None of the none of the uh, tread. I don't know what they call this. The, the seamery, the seam there by the Goodyear welt. It's not. It's not wearing. You know. There's there's no problems with these boots whatsoever. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, I guess if you could be really picky, this one's still upright, and this one is not. This uh, <laughs> loop. I don't know why this one curves. They both go under my pants, but for whatever reason, this one just got curved the other way. But that's not really a complaint. I'm just joking around. Uh, but no, I, I really love these boots. The quality of the leather is, is really nice. It's still nice and thick. It's super comfortable. Uh, as they've broken in, you know, they were broken in around 30 hours. So they were, you know, comfortable from day one. But 30 hours is when they felt like they were fitting my f contours a bit better. And uh, they were, I would consider them broken in then. And then around the 90 hour point, they were just starting to get the nice softness everywhere. Um, so it gradually became soft, but at no point were these uncomfortable. And uh, that's important to note. I know some people may not have that experience, but for me, I did. And usually new boots or new shoes destroy my ankles and heels. So these did it. So very impressed with the way they fit, very impressed with the way they measure. Uh, by, by the website instructions. I'm very impressed by the build quality so far with the way I abuse them and I take them to a, you know shops and walk through body shops and garages and stuff. You know I take them to abusive scenes and they, they're still like brand new. Um, so that blows my mind and um, I know that it helps that I'm rotating them and I know it'll help that I continue to rotate them as I get new boots. But uh, these boots are truly fantastic for the money, they're absolutely 100% worth every dollar that, that you pay. Um, I know people say you can spend six, $700 and get a real pair of nice boots. But to a guy that's never had a real pair of nice boots, these things at the price tag of, I think, $280 shipped to my door in August. That's probably changed by now because of inflation. <clears throat> but at that time... This is an incredible deal because they are still, you know, extremely perfect <laughs> and well made. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love these boots. These are the most comfortable things that have ever been on my feet. And I love them so much that I absolutely will get more. And uh, from my discussions with guys like Marco, you know, over time, you know, when I treat them with uh, whatever I'm going to treat them with, I haven't decided yet, but as I treat them and feed the leather, it's going to take on its own characteristics as it ages and all that. So that's going to be exciting to see what happens. Um, but, you know, I love them as they are now, and I'm sure I'll love them as they change. But these boots are absolutely amazing, and uh, I cannot recommend them enough. So if you're on the fence, get them. If you're wondering about Doc Martens now versus Doc Martens back in the day, I don't have an opinion about that. I only have old Doc Martens. But uh, these versus my old Doc Martens, you can see in the one picture, the Doc Martens are pretty rough and ratty. They've been through hell and back, but they held up. I don't know if new Doc Martens would, but uh, the leather on those Doc Martens is a lot less thick than this. This stuff here is much thicker, and uh, I suspect that these will hold up much better over time than those Doc Martens did. Um, and I didn't maintain those Doc Martens, so... but. I think these will look better in 20 years than those do. And uh, these are definitely built a lot better because these are showing no sign of any trouble. So yeah, I give these things two thumbs up. I think these things are absolute winners. And uh, Solovair absolutely hit them out of the park when they designed these things and, and decided to go on their own and make them after they separated from Doc Martens. Um, fantastic. And I will absolutely get more. I want to get the shiny pair. And um, I'm not sure. I want to get one more pair. You guys tell me what you think I should get. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Christmas Eve if you're watching this when this goes up. Uh, if not, have a great Christmas or Boxing Day or New Year or whatever the hell it is by the time you see this because I know you'll be busy. But either way, Merry Christmas and all that nonsense. Um, and uh, Happy New Year if you, if you don't see me before then. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you all watching. And like I said, these things are absolute winners. So I got to get this thing uh, edited and posted online so I can get it up while it's still Christmas Eve. And uh, 
I appreciate everybody who's commented on the old video and I hope this video didn't let you down after all these months. And I think what I'll do is I'll do another review down the line, maybe a year from now or maybe another five months from now. We'll see how they are then. And uh, we'll document how these boots do over time. So that way you guys can, if you're still curious around the fence, you can see how these things do over time. That always helps, doesn't it? All right. Well, that's it. Merry Christmas. Subscribe to the channel, please. Hit the like button. Comment if you want to win seeds or uh, the Champs Power Flakes. Check out last week's video where I did a punishment here. Check out this video here. And check out this video down here where I did the original impressions of these boots. And we'll see you again soon. Merry Christmas.